I like to kayak on the calm water of ponds and lakes, but I'm as unprepared to paddle the rapids of the Lehigh River as I would be if I drove my passenger car onto the Pocono Raceway to enter the 500. Untrained, ill-equipped, though some paddlers from our area, most notably three-time Olympian Casey Eichfeld, are masters of whitewater, I suspect more of us are like me and use our kayaks as floating lounge chairs from which we could take pictures or read a book. While Jerry McAward sees us coming to the Lehigh, he tries to warn us off for our own safety and the safety of others. McAward is among the rescuers who risk their lives to enter the Lehigh whenever someone with a kayak, a canoe, or an inner tube gets in trouble. Even after his 35 years of paddling and teaching rescues at the Northeast Pennsylvania Kayak School in Jim Thorpe, McAward said there's no easy rescue. Kayakers who can't paddle around obstacles or roll back upright if their boat tips upside down should not enter the Lehigh River between the Francis E. Walder Dam and Jim Thorpe. But wherever you paddle, get to know the river or the water. Even on slower, wider stretches of the Susquehanna, there are famous trouble spots, such as the falls at the Berwick Bridge, that should be avoided. Other streams and rivers have man-made hazards, called low-head dams. McAward said the dams are hard to spot even if you know their location. He goes ashore and walks downstream past them. A boat or a swimmer who goes over a dam gets stuck in what he called a boil line and said acts like a horizontal whirlpool. A beach ball placed in the boil line, McAward said, would stay there until it deflated. I learned the dangers of low-head dams 11 years ago when a teenaged boy and adult who tried to rescue him drowned just below the spillway of the lake at Beach Mountain. Remember too that river and creeks change constantly. A stretch that you paddled during a July drought might turn treacherous after a May rainstorm. With the 4th of July marking the height of boating season, the commission also offers safety reminders. Don't boat alone. Tell someone where you're going, when you expect to return. Don't boat while drinking alcohol. And whether you're paddling a river, fishing a pond with an electric motor, or driving a big boat on a lake, floating down a creek in an inner tube, remember to wear your life jacket. 85% of drowning victims, the commission said, didn't wear them. 